Davide, where are you at the moment and what's been going on in the last 24, 48 hours for you? I'm in Denver, Colorado, and I came here to attend the uh, uh, yearly March meeting of the American Physical Society, which is every year the largest gathering of physicists in the world. But that hasn't quite gone to plan this year. Tell me what's been happening. So the, the American Physical, Physical Society sent out an email uh, on Saturday night. It was about 8 p.m. Uh, on the East Coast uh, saying that the meeting was being called off. And the reason was that uh, there were increased concerns about the spread of the coronavirus epidemic. The news arrived in people's inboxes only 36 hours before the meeting was due to start on Monday morning. And so close to it that a lot of people, including yourself, had actually already travelled to get to the meeting and are now in Denver. Yes, so the, the Kate Kirby, the CEO of uh, the society, said that they estimated uh, several hundred uh, participants were already in town, uh, perhaps close to a thousand. So tell me, what are the scientists that are still in Denver doing? There are people that are trying to sort of make the best of this not ideal situation. Yes, some of the people who um, ended up uh, sort of stranded in Denver uh, decided to uh, have informal gatherings and, and what people call unconferences, which means uh, you get together and you, uh, without any prearranged schedule, and, you, you, and you, whoever wants to give a talk, gives a talk. Um, and at the same time, um, there's people who are going to record their uh, own talks as videos and upload them uh, on YouTube or other platforms. And, and the, the American Physi Physical Society itself is going to provide a platform for uh, you know, would-be participants in the conference. Some groups of ph physicists uh, went further and they, they basically tried to recreate the schedule of the conference um, as a series of webinars. So they, they, uh, they set up an online spreadsheet where people could post links to uh, their live talks that will happen at the same time that they were supposed to give the talks in Denver. It's a really interesting sort of exercise in how to make the best of a difficult situation. Are people feeling quite positive that you've been speaking to or confused? You know, what's the feeling among the physicists that you have found that are still in Denver? I mean, people were, uh, you know, they were inconvenienced um, and some were worried, especially students who maybe didn't have a lot of experience with meetings were worried, uh, you know, how, how am I going to get my reimbursement, which is tied to me giving a talk. Um, I think generally speaking, you know, pe people realize that the situation is escalating, it's getting serious and that a lot of participants were going to come from countries that were now hotspots of the epidemic. We've heard people talking about trying to discourage people from shaking hands, for example, at conferences, but this is quite a big step that's been taken and, and really done at the 11th hour. Yes, and it's probably only the first one of many such cancellations. There's already uh, uh, reports that a number of meetings in the next few months uh, are being cancelled, not only in physics, in a lot of different fields. Um, the, the thing that prompted the, the, the kind of precipitated the situation with the March meeting of the APS was that the uh, US Center for Disease Control and Prevention on Saturday um, kind of upgraded its its travel warning for two countries that, that uh, are major contributors to, to the physics meeting, and that's South Korea and Italy. And what does this mean for the conference? Is there, are there plans to reschedule it for a different time, or is it just cancelled and that's it for this year? I don't know yet. I think it's very early to say. Uh, I think a lot of it will depend on how the community reacts and whether they feel that uh, you know these all these ver various informal ways of communicating uh, were were uh, you know satisfactory or not. And what does this mean for you? You're a physics reporter who's gone to report in a conference that doesn't exist anymore. What does your next week look like now? So I changed my flight. Uh, I'm going to fly back on Wednesday. Originally, I was going to fly, stay in town until Sunday. Um, and uh, for me, it's, you know, it's, it's a missed opportunity to uh, catch up 
with a lot of people to learn about a lot of new ideas and new experiments and so on. But uh, such is life.